So I've been playing around with the RISC-V processor recently and um, the GCC tool chain compiler eventually spits out a hex file that's in um, uh, Intel hex format, similar like this. And I need a format that's like this to work with the read min h uh, function in Verilog. So I wrote a script in it. And that's, well, it's not a script, but a long said command line. And so the first said goes in and it parses through these guys and it looks for this that s, s means to substitute actually the dash n means to stop normal printing the p at the end means to print out just things that match and now i've got from the start of the line to the end of the line where's the end of the line dollar sign here it it at every match it'll print out the matches start with start of the line colon right here six dots which is matches anything so that's one two which is the length one two three four which is the address and then we've got data following oh and then uh, two more characters for the for the type and so that is uh, what we're stripping off one. So we got the six characters and zero, zero. So we've got a six characters and a zero, zero. And right here's the zero, zero. So you can see some lines have a zero, one. I don't want them. So I want those to get cut off, which this script does because it doesn't print out. It doesn't have the normal printing and it only prints matches. So this line gets deleted and then it's going to so it matches just these and then what i'm doing in these parentheses the slash parentheses anything that matches so that's all of this data up until the last three characters which is actually the last two characters and the, the end of line character slash n and so that matches the three characters so that matches and that strips down strips off the leaders like the leading few byte few characters the trailing few bytes then i pipe it into this substitute which looks for these for the for eight characters in a row so there's still like say eight characters in a row then what it does this ants is take whatever matched and a pen and also throw in the this whatever you want to put here i wanted a carriage return and g means do it ever over and over on the line without the g it just doesn't the said just works on the first match so this will in this case split up this guy into four four lines this line gets split into four this line gets split into four this guy gets split into uh, one and so that's what this does then there were some blank lines that happened because when it gets this guy it gets the end and splits it so this removes any blank lines because it's looking for um, anyth anything that matches from uh, the start of the line, up arrow, to the end of the line, dollar sign, with nothing in between, which is an empty line. And the D means delete it if it matches. So it's gone. So any of the blank lines that squirted out here are gone. And then um, I never used talk but poking around i found this one this little gem that is pretty sweet and it's just so that converts everything to lowercase we didn't need to convert it to lowercase in fact i don't think i have it in this one but in my final version i've got it converted to lowercase and so that's what this awk does here and then t is a sweet command that um, takes whatever gets flowed into it from standard input sends it to standard output so you see it on the screen and it also sends it to whatever file you specify here so that's this little handy command i've got it on my github page if you're interested 
Um, and uh, that's it.